Butterfree. When you evolve to Butterfree. Oh! <laughs> wow, that... What's up, YouTube? I'm Wanted Turtle here, and today we have another Pokemon opening. We got another box of Fusion Strike to open. Uh, this one is for our patron, a good friend, patron Ty. Um, Ty, thanks for letting me open this box on your behalf. Ty's looking for one of the Mews, uh, the Celebi, or the Espeon VMAX Alt Art. Uh, I'm guessing that's what he wants the most. So we got this pretty cool Espeon from, what's this, EX Delta species to help lure it out. And let's crack into this box. That open. And uh, yeah, as always, thanks for watching the video. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to help the channel grow. And all right, here we go. 36 packs. And um, yeah, I am definitely liking this set. And I'm still kind of unclear like how much of this was printed. And uh, you know, we'll see kind of um, you know, if this, uh, like how many waves there will be of this product, and if there isn't that many, kind of like what that'll mean for kind of like long term for this set. All right, let's go through, we'll go straight to the rare, kind of, uh, kind of have a quick pace for this video. We got a Musharna for our first pack into a Vikavolt. I should, probably should have double checked, but I'm not sure if there's too many like uncommons that are really worth uh, hunting for. And so far, this set has been kind of hit or miss. Um, I've done like three boxes, I think. One of them kind of off camera. Uh, and we had a mixed success where some boxes are really good and some of them are more on the mediocre side. We got Toxel Reverse. Oh, I like how the um, Pokeball little like uh, stuffed toy right there. And our first pack is a Greedent V Max. Um, how many people are chasing this squirrel? <laughs> Probably not too many, but that is, I feel like the art is on the funny side. So we did get our first hit right away. Grab a sleeve for you. Let's check on the print quality. Ooh, actually this one looks, uh, I feel like, all right, here you can kind of see definitely the centering isn't perfect. And I guess like on the alt art print sheet, that's what we're really looking for. You know, that really nice centering. Ooh, I wouldn't mind a Genesec alt art. I feel like that art's pretty funny. All right, Makuhita to start this pack. A Mankey Reverse into a Sandcastle. We got a Cook, heal 70 damage. Sounds very meh. Oh, if you're watching this video, um, about when the release or the, when the vid goes out and you haven't try, uh, seen the Target deal, so like their Black Friday thing where uh, basically every year they have some tin, um, $20 tin going for half price at $10, and they are doing the same. It is, oh man, missed the days of Hidden Fates tins for $10, what a steal, <laughs> that was uh, at least two years ago. Um, this year it's the, uh, I don't remember what it's called, but Crobominal V is our next hit, very strange Pokemon if you ask me. Uh, it's like the Eternatus V, Pikachu V, and uh, Eevee V tins. It's four packs. I believe one of them is a Vivid Voltage. So at $10, I think that's a very good deal. And uh, you can do it online as at least the recording of this video. Um, if you haven't checked it out, do try to do so on their website. And, it, you know, it so far it hasn't been, you know, completely sworn by bots, which is great to see. And I've heard that even stores are already stocking them, which is, you know, I feel like, uh, especially with everything going on in the world, uh, Black Friday is not really a day anymore. It's more of a month, uh, or in this case, I guess a week. And so you may be able to find those already at Target. Okay, so we do have two hits so far. Um, it seems like hits number of hits anywhere from like eight to you know i have seen a box get into that double digits which would be lovely here cute little stuffle for the reverse into our second vikavolt i do like that art though uh if they did actually i'm if this card was like really good and they made like a gold rare or alt art of it um i don't know vikavolt's kind of cool it looked like they're like planes or something shauna shauna was a shuffle handed draw five cards 
It's a week. Was it Cynthia at the time? Six cards. Skarmory. All right, we got Toxtricity for the reverse into a Araquanid. Uh, so far, we've gotten, uh, it was off camera, but I have pulled a Alt Art Celebi V, and we've gotten some secret rares as well, including a Gold Mareep, and I think it was like a Chandelure or something, Obstagoon. And I think, um, full of supporters, I think we pulled like a Rainbow Schoolgirl, which is, you know, just kind of meh as far as like the secret rares go. All right, we got a Vulpix reverse, little room, into a Grim Snarl. Is this a recycled art? I feel like I've seen this card before. More Grim and the Cook again. All right, Gossifleur. Got a Wulu. This definitely looks familiar. Whenever I see Wulu, I definitely see Hop. <laughs> Not only because Hop, uh, had a Wulu, but I don't know, I feel like the, maybe it's the eye, something about Wulu reminds me of Hop. We got another V-card, a Dodrio. When I first saw the, the kind of like uh, Diglett and Doug Trio, I, I was going to say Do Trio. Doug, Do Trio. Let's just take a quick look. No reprieve, 20 for one energy. Uh, during next turn, this Pokemon attack does 100, and then 160, 30 damage to itself. Sounds just okay. All right, come on, let's get um the secret rare. Actually, let's get the alt art. I feel like even when we pull a secret rare, um, the rather what I'm trying to say is secret rares haven't been an issue. It's the alt arts, which, you know, the pull rate has not been great so far. So Waddle, Scent Scorch, that's pretty cool. Cool art, what the heck? <laughs> All right, we got some duplication in this box. The first time we've seen that, and we got another Dodrio. Okay. So what is that, hit number four, Dodrio number two. And so far, we definitely haven't found a hit worthy of taking that, that spot, which the uh, Delta Species Espeon is. Oh, Snorlax. I know Ty is a big fan of those. Drapey, Makuhita, Rookity, Luxio is the reverse. Into a Huntail. Okay. It's another strange Pokemon. Well, Sydney, what do you do? Your opponent reveals their hand, discard up to two of any combination tool card, special energy, and stadium from it. Hmm. Definitely feel that could be annoying. Alright. Rubbin into a Gorbis. Okay, so the was it Clamperol can turn into that Huntail or the Gorbis. Both just as strange if you ask me. It's like super, super binary thing, but uh, whenever you open a box, like the, the pack art's just like a line. <laughs> so I always feel like I typically go down like one stack uh, just so I know like how much of the box is left just because I'm not counting. Um, but when when they just, you know, they're aligned perfectly like that, it's it's hard for me not to keep going um, uh, one from the left and then one from the right. We got a Blissey into a Zero Aura. Pretty cool art. But yeah, overall thoughts uh, for this set. I feel like it's not the best, like, I've, it's not as good as, like, Evolving Skies, uh, but it's definitely pretty good. And however, uh, I've mentioned this before, but the fact that, you know, they had the Espeon V Max when, you know, all the EV stuff was in Evolving Skies. Uh, feels like that's like a sign that, you know, maybe this set wasn't the strongest and that's why they kind of had that um, in this set. But overall, I think, um, no, I think definitely they're still doing a pretty good job with the sets. Um, 
you know, with, with all the alt arts, I definitely think those are a big win. Uh, def definitely getting a little tired of the rainbows. And optimistic for the future with those character rares coming back. Uh, we discussed this to some degree on, like, the Discord, where, you know, the, those character rares, they, they have very unique art. Uh, and obviously it's like alt art, but I like the idea of, you know... Uh, non V, non V Max getting some kind of full art treatment, you know, just regular Pokemon. And, uh, quick ball. And according to Get Wrecked on Discord, they're all very playable cards, too. So, um, you know, if you are playing IRL, it gives you a nice opportunity to put some swag in the deck. Onyx into a Bolton. Uh, we did get a Bolton, uh, was it the VMAX or like the full art? It did, that one did look really cute. Oh, this one's not bad either. All right, so we're starting to get more hits. Uh, definitely passed halfway through the box. Was that hit number five? Uh, no secret rare yet. No alt arts. So still have a lot of ground to cover. But we're not, we're not panicking yet. <laughs> Maybe soon. Cloister into a Yavelto. I love that Yavelto art. <laughs> Spongy glove. Sometimes the the, uh, the items and the tools are just like like what? Like just like the space helmet, random gloves. How how do these exactly work? <laughs> you know, I feel like in the beginning. Um, like I remember like gold silver games, you know, like that you could give them like a berry or something to eat when they're battling here. It's like, all right, I, that, that makes, I can, I can see that. Ooh, Latios, definitely better than the, uh, Latias, definitely better than the Latios hearts. I just like all the different colors. Um, but some of these tools, it's like, how exactly does that work? Like farewell bell, uh, I, I guess a bell, that, that, that I can understand. All right, let's see. We got a big ant, a double into a Steelix. It's not a lot of HP for a Steelix. Like usually, oh, well, obviously I'm referring to more like VV Max. <laughs> like they usually have crazy amounts of health. Kind of like uh, Whale Lords. All right, Iracuda. A Huntail, we got the reverse taken care of there. And then a Gudra. All right, now we're, our fingers are hovering above that panic button, getting ready to press it. Hey, mana. Yeah, oh, this, wow. Wait, was, wasn't this just like done? Uh, this thing with the Eldegoss and some of the other ones. Well, again, not a fan of reusing art. Galarian Meow into, ooh, okay. Full Art Supporter, Chili, Cillin, and Cress. I do not remember these. What are they, like, uh, servers or something? Search your deck for a Fusion Strike Pokemon. R three Fusion Strike. Okay, if there's, like, um, some really powerful Fusion Strike that you definitely want to get out right away. See that being good. Again, don't remember these these uh, these people. <laughs> but it's pretty cool looking. Let's take a look at the centering in just a minute. Full art supporter is very interesting because yeah, the, the rainbow really saturates or like saturates the colors and sometimes it's hard to see what's going on. And more often than not, I like the regular full art supporters more. Uh, centering is definitely like rotated because um, you can see kind of like on the same line, one end thicker than the other. So not perfect centering, but uh, we will take the full art supporter so still didn't check off any of those important boxes as far as Secret Rare and or Alt Arts, but happy with that pull. And that is what, pull number six? So definitely at least two more hits, hopefully more to come. We got a Zorark into a Swampert. Swampert. Zorark, that's pretty cool. Cool art, looks like he's um, know, doing Tai Chi or something. Crocodile. All right, come on. <laughs> Uh, happy with that hit, but uh, all right. Panic mode engaged. Where, where are the? Where is the secret rare? Where is the alt art? Ooh, that is a cool looking Arcanine. And to a Chandelure V. 
I've heard some people um say that some boxes can have multiple art alt art, so it seems like the alt art is not is less maybe less of a hard rule for X per box is just you know, X per handful of packs. Um, Seeker rare seem to be at least so far at least one per box. And uh, yeah, shoutouts to our good friend Richard Omega. I think I had like uh, like four or five sleeve blisters pulled the SB on VMAX. Uh, Zero or I thought maybe uh, it was a code card that was given kind of like that that black border. I thought we had a hit. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, so like the the pattern of the uh, pack cards is kind of like off by one. Um, so we got like seven packs remaining. Come on. Panic mode definitely has been engaged. A Stantler. I think we got a V card here. A Rillaboom V. Once again, whenever Rillaboom's in a set, we do seem to pull a lot of them. for you. Really boom was the start I selected when I'm during my playthrough of Shield. Alright, Clam Pearl. Alright, Sandy Gas into a Galarian Cursola. Alright, if we if we don't get <laughs> Secret Rare and or Alton Arts, we'll probably have to grab some extra packs for Ty. Masculine into a Senta Scorch. Come on, cross receiver. Play two of these for a Putty Pokemon supporter card from discard pile into your hand. Doesn't sound that good, but um I mean if you don't have a supporter for that turn, I guess, to re refill your hand. Alright, Palisand. Ah, Azumarill. This looks familiar as well. I feel like that that like if you just cut out the Azumarill, that feels very similar to like the first Azumarill and like the Neo era. Like that pose looks very familiar to me. All right, we got two Gengars and a Bolton. Let's do the Bolton first. Come on. Vullaby into a Galarian Obstagoon. And two packs remaining we would need perfect hit ratio to get both the alt art and the secret rare chancy zigzagoon Menke, cluncher Grelith, butterfree just read through this real quick evolve one of your pokemon during turn you may all right burn confused and poisoned from your hand to evolve one of your Play this book. Okay, so when Butterfree, when you evolve to Butterfree. Oh! <laughs> wow, that was very clutch. Congratulations, Ty. We did it on the second to last pack. And again, maybe maybe this box is actually really good and it's just like complete holdout. And maybe we still got a secret rare as well, but I'm pretty sure you're going to be very stoked to have pulled this. Oh, man. <laughs> So like this is this is like the dream where you have exciting opening your or you know maybe slow start and then um, it's like you're super worried I, I'm definitely of the type like, like just get it out of the way and and be uh, confident for the opening but this is definitely the way to do it Ooh, this is a big sleeve let's take a look um, okay not perfect centering but definitely pretty good um, so like this top one is a little thicker this one's maybe a little thinner so definitely not perfect but it's not like rotate like when it's rotated that really bothers me so congratulations on the espion alt art v max oh, what a beautiful card and we can put a card over this beautiful delta species espion because we hit the big hits Whew. all right that was that was so clutch like i if there's like, you know, if you had to pick between, all right, if you can only get one, like a secret rare or alt art, you know, definitely there's bigger hits on the alt art side in my opinion. So that went perfectly. And so not a perfect box, but oh man, I am very confident that Ty is gonna be very happy with the result here. Whew, that was, uh, that was intense. All right, 
that's gonna be it for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Wanda Turtle. Congratulations, Ty. Thanks again for being a patron and letting me do this opening on your behalf. I'm Wanda Turtle. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.